The Burbies branch of Banks DIH Limited netted 76.8 million Guyana dollars profit during the year 2023 out of an overall total of 8.3 billion Guyana dollars profit which the beverage giant secured throughout the country and beyond. Speaking at the 68th annual general meeting which was attended by Burbies shareholders and special invitees at Peter de Gare Street, New Amsterdam on Sunday, February 4th, 2024, Branch manager Nandram Bastio said, I stand before you today with a profound sense of pride and excitement as the manager of our Beast branch to share some truly remarkable news about the blossoming performance of our branch. Your trust and investment in our company have played an integral role in our achievement. During the year, our branch has witnessed a remarkable surge in growth and prosperity. The strategic decisions made by our esteemed chairman, board of directors and executives, coupled with your unwavering support, have propelled us to new heights. I am pleased to announce that our financial indicators reflect not just stability, but a blooming trajectory that surpasses our expectations. Our performance in Barbies during the financial year ending September 2023 reflects an increase of 9.2% are 378.4 million. Under the team, freshness is domestic, while making reference to the various beverages that are brewed by the company, Chief Executive Officer Clifford Reese delivered an elaborate report and made special reference to the Burbies branch of Banks DIH Limited. In this area, we sold Burbies 4 billion, 4 billion, 483 million dollars <laughs> now we made a profit in Burbies of $76.8 million. That's the profit we made in Burbies. And we sold 1,840,000 units of products in this area. And that's because we had a shortage of beer. Maybe they have done 2 million. So the Barbies branch and the staff, I really want to congratulate all of you. I want to congratulate our shareholders, our consumers, and all who support us in this region. The CEO also made mention of Demico Quickserve at Main and Kent Street, New Amsterdam. I also want to add congratulations to our Quickserve staff. You know, they made $21 million more in profit than they made in the previous year. So to all the staff there who work at Quickserve again, with reference to Citizen Bank, Mr. Reese said, We also have the Citizen Bank at the Burbies, which is uh, Mr. Natasha Fitwadi, if I pronounce it right, yes, uh, who is the manager of this branch. And just let me tell you what they have done to. They have a recording a total revenue of 74 million dollars which is an increase of 12.3 million. They've given out loans, which is group increased by $71 million worth. And the customer deposits have also increased by $708 million in a year. So the branch, Citizen Bank, is also doing very good up here. But we want to see more loans. We're willing to give loans to the various people. I want to see more people applying for loans in, in the branch. During the event which was chaired by Ms. Sonia Foresta and attended by the top brass of Banks DIH Limited, donations were made by Mr. Reese to the Albion and the Port Peron Primary Schools. A student of each school were part of the event. It was also mentioned that Banks DIH Limited will be offering five full scholarships to students who are desirous of pursuing studies in the areas of finance and science at the University of Guyana. The Mayor of New Amsterdam, His Worship Wainwright McIntosh, Deputy Mayor Kirk Fraser, and Acting Town Clerk Devon Galley were also among those who graced the event. Michael Kahn, Channel 8 News.